Hey guys, back at it again with another, another one PC build today. This time it's a sub $1,000 PC build. Um, we're looking at something which could play modern titles on medium to high settings, 60 FPS. I'm not going for anything too powerful and too extreme. Uh, this system is running the new KB Lake uh, processors. So um, let's get right into it. This one's the i5-7500, standard four core processor if you're not looking to overclock. And with this, I'm pairing it up with the MSI Bazooka B250M. Uh, this board actually has four DIMM slots, which is great if you want to upgrade, um, but it only has one PCIe slot, but that's more than enough because we're only needing one graphics card. Um, most of the time with these kind of builds, when you're around the $1,000 range, I often recommend something like an i5-7500 uh, on the KB Lake, and you just pair it up with a cheap B250M board. Uh, you don't want to go too cheap as you might you know, hinder what such performances. Um, and you don't really need a H270 board unless you need extra PCIe slots, but in reality, I'm not too sure who would. Um, next, we have eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this is just the crucial 2133 megahertz RAM. Uh, they don't have heat spreaders, so they are the bare green sticks, which are a bit uh, safely unpleasing. However, we were on a really tight budget and we had to hit the under thousand dollars, so I had to go for these. And with that said, um, an SSD. This is the Kingston UV four hundred. Now, most people who buy an SSD don't actually buy such products like the UV four hundred. Uh, this is the hundred twenty gig version, and it only cost about sixty bucks. However, if you can, I'd often recommend at least a uh, Samsung Evo seven fifty or an eight fifty Evo, which is pretty good SSD drives. But we just want fast boot times, so we picked up an SSD. Standard storage, Western Digital 1TB Blue Drive. Nothing special about that. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you're wondering what this was, it's just a really cheap $30 uh, wireless card. Uh, tugged into one of the PCIe slots, not the X16 ones. And the graphics card is actually the SUS 4GB GTX 1050 Ti. Now, like I said, this card can get you games medium or high on around 60 FPS, depending on what titles are on 1080p. Uh, most modern titles run perfectly fine on this, including such games like Overwatch, if you're really into that. Um, to juice the whole system, we're looking at a CX430 by Corsair. Now, this should be the third generation. Um, you know, this system itself, it wouldn't even pull over 300 watts of power. Um, the car uh, pulls power off the PCIe slot and doesn't even require an external 16 connector, which is great. And 430 watts, uh, rated at bronze, good always, good to have efficiency. Um, it's more than enough. And to house all of this is the Thermaltake Versa uh, H25. Now this case, not many people use. Uh, I personally wouldn't recommend it often, but if you're on a real big budget and you just want to put it in a metal a flimsy metal box, then just go for something cheap, around 50, 60 bucks, this is all you'll need. And uh, that's it for a $1,000 build. Thanks for watching.